Hey, we got some racing springs in the mail the other day. So we're gonna put them on. We're gonna swap out the Skunk 2 lowering springs. In my opinion, are too low in the back, too high in the front. And I'm some random crap strut combo uh, for some full sleeve BC BR uh, racing coilovers. They're awesome. Cannot wait to get these guys on. So let's do it. All right, so, so before we get these BC springs on here, just wanted to see, uh, I guess we could do it like a before and after. So we get down kind of level with the car, you can see what I mean. You've got the rear wheel here is actually tucked into the fender well, and then you still got at least a two inch gap on the front here. Now we're running a 15 inch rim with a 205.50 tire. And I mean, I can fit three fingers easily two, two or three fingers so this I want dropped at least in half and you see how badly this is tucked in I mean the top of the tire is you know somewhere here so that to be more flush and we're gonna see what it looks like once we uh, get everything swapped up man anytime you see that let you know there's a problem. All right, so check this out. So we we get these things off. All right, these old suspension, the old coilovers. There's some cheap random strut with a skunk two spring on it. And I go to put the new BC coilover. Oh gosh, these things look so nice, don't they? So the issue we're running into is this fork is clearly not a DA fork. I believe this is an EG fork. Uh, don't know why it's on this car. I haven't touched them, but apparently someone has. I have nearly completely bolted this down uh, and it, does, it still doesn't fit. I mean, look at this. These things are supposed to be like tight. So, you know, kind of upset because I thought maybe BC well, actually, I'm happy. I was upset. I thought BC might have sent me the wrong part. It's not. It's clearly labeled. Um, these are just definitely not the uh, not the stock DA fork. I think I just read. Uh, I did just read. I think the number was like 1.5 inches is supposed to be the stock EFDA front fork. Uh, 1.65 inches is a eg or, or or i would assume also a dc for front fork so um for civics i guess at 93 to 2000 is when they changed the, the front fork size and then for integrity would be 94 to 01. so now i'm having to find these on marketplace let go or something before i can actually get the front done but you know what we're just gonna throw this whole thing on jack stands we'll get the backs going and not let that be a hang up and get this thing done. Okay, we're working on the back end now. The back ends do look different. They don't have forks. They're just built to just swap in there. Um, one quick note, my particular strut that I'm replacing on the back has a nut welded onto the frame here. The BCs do not, but it's okay. If you're smart, like, anybody who's ever worked on cars you never throw bolts away you never throw nuts away so we've got a bag of some honda stuff and we found just a couple of nuts that will fit on here it's no big deal there um one thing i am seeing though uh, i told you we were doing the energy suspension bushing replacement kit on this and i'm already i'm already doing these strut things so look i might as well Look how bad that is. I might as well go ahead and just pop these lower control arms off in the rear. Go ahead and get the bushings in. It's just one less thing I'm gonna have to worry about. Yeah, I'm not gonna get my project done tonight, but in the long run, it's just gonna save me time. Okay, a quick note before we put these on the vehicle. I do want to demonstrate how um, out of the box 
you can get these these uh, coilovers from BC and they just aren't the same length uh, as these, these standard ones, but they don't compress as much. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, and when I'm done, I'm gonna probably measure uh, this distance here, just to give anybody an idea that might come across this video if they've got the same platform. Um, they might be able to cut right to it and just measure, set it, and then throw it on the car. And it, it's a lot easier, obviously, to adjust the height on these here. But then again, you don't know what it what it's going to look like on the car unless someone's done all the hard work for you. So we'll we'll try to notate that and put that in the description. Well, didn't like how it set. It fixed it a little bit by letting the e-brake out and rolling back a little bit getting it all even but my driveway isn't exactly level so that kind of plays a part into it so i pulled into the street right up there into the, the driveway where it's kind of a little bit more level just to uh it's at least level side to side it's not it's not a zero grade but it's pretty close so the front and back are going to be a little off but like it still needs to come down a good three quarters of an inch in the front and i'm honestly not sure if I'm gonna bottom these things out. I don't really think you can, I think you can bottom them out and it's okay, but they do, the instructions from BC do warn you uh, not to raise them past a certain point because they wanna, re, you know, the this this is essentially a, it's a, it, it, the, the preload set from the factory here, so this doesn't change. Just worry about the ride height. And on this, so you, you basically just have this sleeve here that you're raising or lowering uh, everything that's already set. So you can raise, you can drop them as far as you want to go. All they're going to do is just bottom out of the, at here. Now you can't go any farther than that, but it's not going to damage anything. When you raise it too far, you can actually get this, this body here out of this little sleeve so far up that it just doesn't have a whole lot of support. And so they do warn you there's so many threads or so many inches that you're, I think it's a thread. They want you to keep so many threads in this housing here, which since we're going down, we don't have to worry about that. So when I said that these things are like shorter and stuff like that, and they don't compress a lot, the reason I said that is, is because of this. See, if I turn around and show you, you see how I've got the front jacked up here? We were just adjusting the ride height. Look at the back, it's already off the ground. So my point is, even with these things on and, they, and, and adjusted or whatever, they are awesome, dude. Like, you don't even have to jack your car up. I mean, like, that much. If you've ever tried to jack up it, like a stock, any any Honda, you know, you gotta get that thing 10 feet in the air just to get the dang wheels off the ground because this, this, the struts travel forever. Uh, or they got long springs, long struts, whatever it is. So, that's my point is, these things look like, oh my gosh, you know, they're so short. They are, um, but this is the benefit is, I'm just jacking the front up enough to get the wheel off the ground to pull it off and the back wheels are already off the ground here. So don't let that worry you too much. Um, the most important thing is to measure. So what we've done is, I think the back was two and a half. The front is like right at, oh, give me a second. I, I'm pretty sure when we measure from this bottom collar to this bottom collar, We've got five eighths of an inch and that's going to be i think the sweet spot let's put the wheel on and try it out all right she is very stiff ride that's what we want these tires are also very sticky you can hear the rocks just slapping up against the bottom of the car that's because they are super sticky
And that's a wrap, man. Car looks great. Check her out. Way, way better. We got rid of the tuck in the back and we got rid of the gap in the front. She rides stiff as a forklift. Yes, sir. Gonna be great on some track with some sticky ass tires. Uh, sorry, we'll edit that out. Uh, really surprised at how quick and easy we were able to just pull the tires off real quick, make a quick adjustment based upon how we measured. Um, so for anyone who's gonna run into this, basically, uh, what we did is we measured from the tire to the gap here the top of the fender well and We said, you know what looks like it's about an inch But I may or may not be able to see the top of the tire exactly so we're gonna drop that by a quarter went for three quarters of an inch Looked at the body and said, you know what? I think that's a little bit I don't know if I can pull three quarters off. So let's go for five eighths We went five eighths of a drop and then that turned out to be I mean, it's like as flush as you could possibly imagine the back is pretty much dead even as well and she looks awesome really good really good always like subscribe share we are definitely a grassroots channel we are not some massive company that's doing all this for profit we just like having fun and like taking you through the trials and errors of just some random dude working on his car with no lift no real tools, just just kind of, you know, backwoods stuff, man. Thank you. Peace.